welcome to our lesson on generating and solving equations. So Andrew thinks of a number. He doubles it, adds 13, and his result is 27. And when he thinks of a number, this number is unknown, so we're going to call it a letter, x. He doubles it, which means 2x, which is 2 times x. And then he adds 13, so 2x add 13. His result is equal to 27. So we're going to solve this equation. First of all, by taking away 13 from both sides. 13 take away 13 will make 0. So 2x will equal 27 take away 13, which is 14. We'll do the opposite of times and by 2. We'll divide by 2. So x will equal 14 divided by 2, which is 7. And we can check this works. We have things of a number, 7. It doubles it to make 14. And he adds 13 to it to get 27. So we know that x is equal to 7. For question B, Michaela multiplies a number by 6. So a number, we'll call it a different letter, y, times by 6 is 6y, and subtract 9, 6y take away 9, her result is 39, so this is equal to 39. We'll solve the equation by adding 9 to both sides because 9 take away 9 will make 0. So 6y will equal 39 plus 9, which is 48. We'll do the opposite of times in by 6, which is dividing by 6. So 6 divided by 6 will make 1. So y will equal 48 divided by 6, which is 8. We can check this works. Michaela multiplies a number by 6. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 take away 9 does make 39. So we know y is equal to 8. Okay, let's try a couple more questions. So do you want to try and set up and solve a two-stop equation for question C and question D? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. For question C, Sally adds 8 to a number. She multiplies the result by 4. Her answer, her result, is 48. So she adds 8 to a number. We do not know the value of that number, so we can call it a letter. Let's call it C. It's okay if you draw the different letter. She adds 8 to the number, so 8 add C. And she multiplies the result of C add 8 by 4. So C add 8 multiplied by 4 is equal to 48. And this is a multiplication of 4. We're going to do the opposite of times in by 4, which is dividing by 4. We're doing this to both sides to keep it balanced. So C add 8 will equal 12. We'll do the opposite of adding 8, which is taking away 8. So C will equal 12 take away 8, which is 4. We can check this works. Sally adds 8 to a number. 4 add 8 is 12. She multiplies it by 4. 12 times 4 does make 48. Okay, and finally for question D. The perimeter of a rectangle is 40 centimetres. Find the value of X. So the perimeter of a rectangle means the sum of the distance around the edge of a shape. So we know this length is 5, which means this length must also be 5. We know this length is 3x, so this length will be the same. The perimeter is the total distance around the edge, so we have the 5, the 3x, the 5, and the other 3x, which is 10 add 6x. And that is equal to 40. 
So now we can solve this equation by taking away 10 from both sides. 10 take away 10 will make 0. So 6x will equal 30. We can divide both sides by 6. So x will equal 5. And let's check this works. We have 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Add another 5. Add another 5. And that distance around the edge does make 40. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.